Hey there! Before we jump into the video, I want to tell you about our math video game called Mage Math. The game will help your child feel more confident in math, and our math videos are inside the game to really help your child succeed. You can find the game and all our videos at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hi there! I am delivering a bunch of fractions to different places today. As you can see, there are a lot of fractions. One question that I have is how to add fractions. Do you know how to add fractions? Let's see what my friend has to tell us about adding fractions. Will you help me add one-fourth plus two-thirds? To add fractions, we have to have the same denominator. Our fractions have denominators of four and three. We need to find the least common denominator, also known as the LCD. To do this, we start by listing some of the multiples of each number. Multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. Where multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 24, and so on. Are there any multiples in common in both lists? Yes, we can see there are two common multiples, 12 and 24. Although we found two common multiples, we want to use the least common multiple, which is 12. Okay, this means our LCD is 12 meaning we want to rewrite both fractions 1 fourth and 2 thirds as equivalent fractions with a denominator of 12. Let's start with 1 fourth. If the new denominator needs to be 12, what do we multiply 4 by to get 12? That's right, 3. So we need to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3, or we write 3 over 3 times 1 fourth. Well, 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 4 is 12. That means 1 fourth is equivalent to 3 twelfths. Okay, let's do the same for 2 thirds. What do we multiply 3 by to get 12? That's right, 4. So we will multiply 4 over 4 times 2 thirds. And when we multiply straight across, we get 4 times 2 equals 8, and 4 times 3 is 12. We can see that 2 thirds is equivalent to 8 twelfths. Now we have two fractions with like denominators, so we can perform the addition. Let's rewrite our problem as 1 fourth plus 2 thirds equals 3 twelfths plus 8 twelfths. Because we have common denominators, we can add the numerators. 3 plus 8 over 12. 3 plus 8 is 11. So we found 11 twelfths. Great job! Let's try another problem. What is 1 and 2 eighths plus 1 and 3 fifths? To add mixed numbers, we add the whole number parts together and then the fractional parts together. The whole number addition is simple. I know that you can add 1 plus 1, but the addition of fractions is a little harder. Will you help me? Remember, we need to find the least common denominator, or LCD, of 8 and 5, so we can add the fractions together once we have a common denominator. Let's start by finding the multiples of 8 and 5. The multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. And the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and so on. It looks like 40 is the least common multiple of 8 and 5. 
Also, do you notice that 8 times 5 is 40? Cool! Sometimes the LCD is the product of the denominators themselves, like in this case. Okay, let's find the equivalent fractions with 40 as the LCD. Let's start with 2 eighths. We know 8 times 5 equals 40, so we need to multiply 2 eighths by 5 over 5. When we multiply fractions, multiply straight across. 5 times 2 is 10, and we know 5 times 8 is 40. So 2 eighths equals 10 fortieths, or these are equivalent fractions. Now let's look at 3 fifths. We know that 5 times 8 is 40, so we will multiply 3 fifths by 8 over 8. 8 times 3 equals 24, and 8 times 5 is 40. Therefore, 3 fifths and 24 fortieths are equivalent fractions. Now we can rewrite the problem as 2 plus 10 fortieths plus 24 fortieths. Adding the fractions together, we add the numerators, and we get 2 plus 34 fortieths. When we write mixed numbers, we do not write the addition sign between the whole number and the fractional part. So we can remove that and just say 2 and 34 fortieths. Great job! You know what? 34 fortieths can be simplified because both 34 and 40 are even numbers. To simplify a fraction, we can cancel the largest common factor in common between the numerator and denominator. In this case, it's 2. 34 can be rewritten as 2 times 17, where 40 can be rewritten as 2 times 20. We can cross out the common factor of 2 to simplify. This gives us 17 twentieths. That means 2 and 34 fortieths is equivalent to 2 and 17 twentieths. Nice work! Can you help me with another problem? What is 3 and 1 sixth plus 4 and 2 fifths? Remember, we can add the whole number parts together and then the fractional parts. 3 plus 4 plus 1 sixth plus 2 fifths equals 7 plus 1 sixth plus 2 fifths. In order to add the fractional parts, we will need the least common denominator, or LCD, and we do that by finding the multiples of 6 and 5. Multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on, where multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. It looks like 30 is the least common multiple of 6 and 5, so that will be our LCD. Now we write equivalent fractions with 30 as the denominator. Let's start with 1 sixth. We want to find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 30. And since we know 6 times 5 is 30, we will multiply the fraction 1 sixth by 5 over 5. 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 times 6 is 30. So 1 sixth is equivalent to 5 thirtieths. Now let's write 2 fifths as an equivalent fraction with 30 as a denominator. Again, we know 5 times 6 is 30, so we will multiply 2 fifths by 6 over 6. 6 times 2 is 12, and 6 times 5 is 30. Therefore, 2 fifths is equivalent to 12 thirtieths. Okay, now our problem can be rewritten as 7 plus 5 thirtieths plus 12 thirtieths. We can add the numerators in the fractions that have the common denominator. This gives us 7 plus 17 thirtieths. Again, we don't need that plus sign between the whole number and the fraction to represent a mixed number. So instead, 
we say 7 and 17 thirtieths. Nice work. I am almost done delivering the fractions. I have just a few left and they are not wanting to leave the truck. My friend Gig is trying to round them up, but they are not wanting to go. This could take a while. Thanks for joining us today and learning how to add fractions. See you guys next time and be sure to check out all the great exclusive content on our website at magemath.com. Goodbye. Thank you for watching our video. To support us in making more videos, please check out our game at magemath.com. MageMath will really help your child have fun with math, so check it out today.